All right, guys, today we're going to be replacing a rim cylinder. Uh, what we did this morning, we had a business lockout. They needed to open this door. Um, it was a uh, six pin, so we, it, it was a little harder to open. So what we did is we drew, re-drilled this out, and we're going to be replacing the cylinder. Uh, the tools that we'll need to do the job are just your basic drill and then the replacement cylinder itself. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, take this uh, side off first. We're going to take this panel off access the screws that are behind here. We're gonna remove the screws, remove the cylinder, and uh, put the new cylinder in. Uh, make sure it operates correctly, button it up, and then we'll be done with the job. All right, these screws are pretty tiny, so what I normally do is I put them inside the cover and I put this to the side. All right, so here are you, the screws that you're gonna be working with. You're gonna to wanna to take this screw off here and this screw off here. Um, actually, on this one, we're gonna be taking all the screws off and we'll be uh, just sliding this uh, crash bar to the side here. Before you take this final screw off, what you're gonna to need to do is take this back panel off and uh, make sure that we don't have multiple screws that's gonna hold the bar up. All right, so we do have two screws. What you're gonna to wanna to do is at least loosen them Actually, in this case, we're going to take them out. Okay. Now, before I take this one out, I'm going to leave it out just a little bit so that way the bar can just swing down. Alright, so now we have access to the rim cylinder. So there's two screws holding uh, the rim cylinder on. We're going to take those out. We're going to put our hand on this side just to put pressure on the rim cylinder. Okay. So this is what we're going to re be replacing right here. Okay. First thing, the tailpiece. We're going to have to make sure that the tailpiece is the length required for this unit. So easiest way that you could do it is uh, just judge the distance and it looks like we're going to be right there at that mark there. So all we're going to do is we're going to break it off at that mark. You're going to need two pliers of some sort. And real simple. All you're going to do is bend it until it breaks. And that's it. Verify again. We got the length correct. And then we're going to check the fitment. Looks like we got the length at a pretty good uh, length there. So 
Next thing we're going to do is just put the uh, guard on. Okay. Next, we're going to install the screws. Okay. <clears throat> now, once we have the rim cylinder installed, we'll go ahead and install the crash bar. What you're going to want to do is just make sure that the uh, key operates smoothly, there's no obstructions, and uh, you're going to want to leave your key in there. That way if you have to do any rotations to fit the crash bar, you can. Okay. Now, the tailpiece of the rim cylinder is going to go into the uh, crash bar right here. Okay. Now you're going to want to make sure just to operate everything completely. Again, making sure that there's no obstructions. Looking good. Okay. Now we're just going to button everything up. Okay. That one there, you're just going to put it in a little bit to hold everything in place while you put the back screws in. Okay, looks like we're good there. So we're gonna put the final uh, cover on here. Now you're gonna wanna make sure since these screws are so small that you don't uh, screw them in really fast because they can strip really easy. Okay, now what you want to do is, before you close the door, you want to make sure that you're going to be able to unlock the door. Everything works correctly. And if this is going to be your only access to the door, uh, you're, going to, you're going to want to take precautions and put yourself inside the room on the side of the crash bar before you test the door out. Actually, if you have some, I guess. Um, here, you want to unlock it? Good. Door locks. Door unlocks. We're good.